As I sat by the window, I could hear the sound of pencils writing quickly next to me, while above me, a fan was spinning loudly. I knew I had to hurry. I was on the clock. As I sat there, my mind was completely blank. I didn't know any of the answers. Sweat started dripping onto the paper, causing me to quickly wipe my nose. I had no choice but to write my name and start. Today is my final maths exam, and this was a make it or break it for me because if I didn't pass this test, I wouldn't pass ninth grade. I tried to write as many answers as I could, but time was going by so fast. As soon as I started writing, the exam was already over. I was totally screwed. I begged the teacher to give me just five more minutes, but all she would say was, too bad Molly, time is up. For those of you that passed the test, you're welcome to go home. But everyone else that didn't pass, you must stay for the rest of the day and retake the exam. My stomach dropped. I didn't want to take it again. What was I going to do? My parents were going to kill me. Math was never my strong point, and for sure, I wouldn't be going home anytime soon. I sat there slumped on my desk when another student started giggling, so I asked what was so funny. She turned to me and said, Well, this whole thing is stupid. I mean, the teacher is insane to make us stay here, so all I can do is laugh. I'm Luna, by the way. I'm Molly. Did you just transfer here? I have never seen you before. Oh no, I'm from a different class, Luna smiled. Do you think we will have to stay for long? I will get into so much trouble if I go home late, I asked. Nah, there's no way. The teacher has to let us go by 5 p.m. Just retake the test and we'll get to go home. Trust me, I failed many exams before. The teacher began reading out who had passed and who didn't. Students that did pass the exam packed up their things and left the room. By the end of it, there was only Luna and me left. Well, 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 it looks like you didn't pass the test. Again. The teacher laughed and gave the test sheet back. How could everyone else pass but not me? I tried to look on the bright side, but I really just wanted to cry. The teacher told us that we had 30 minutes to resit the exam and that she would be back to collect it. I tried not to think about what would happen if I failed again and just focused on getting through the test. As we sat there writing, I felt Luna poke my arm. Hey Molly, have you ever heard of a story called The Eternal Exam? It's an old ghost story about our school. <laughs> no, I haven't. What is it about? Well, the story goes that if a student keeps failing and retaking an exam until nighttime, they will be forced to resit the test until they pass. And what happens if they don't pass it? I ask. Luna gave me a smirk before replying. The student will have to take the exam over and over again, even if they get hungry or sleepy. They can never stop taking the test until they die. Oh no, Luna, until they die? I don't want to hear any more. Let's talk about something else. But there's more, Molly. The teacher who oversees the exam is also a giant called Yak Yim. The creature is so big that they reach the ceiling with fangs as teeth and big yellow eyes that hurt your soul. I was about to tell Luna to change the subject when the classroom floor started to shake so badly that our chairs began to move. Luna and I looked at each other when a loud noise came from outside. Thump. 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 We were so focused on the noise getting closer and closer that we didn't realize that the light in the classroom had turned completely red. A large shadow appeared at the door, revealing a giant so large and red with blood dripping onto its uniform. The monster had big reptile eyes and fangs on either side. Molly and Luna, because you failed the test, you will both sit the eternal exam instead. I screamed as the creature grabbed me by my hair. I was so scared, but when I looked at Luna for help, she stood up in excitement and said, Oh my god, it's really true! Why wasn't she scared like me? You girls have no idea what you're in for. You see, there's a part of the story that has been left out. I punish the students that fail. I like to call it an examination fee. Ha ha ha! The red giant laughed with blood dripping from its mouth. If a student fails the exam once, one finger is eaten. If they fail twice, 
Two fingers are eaten. Three times, I will eat all the fingers and wrists, and then the elbows, until the only thing that is left to hold their pens are their heads, and then I eat them whole. Luna quickly snaps me out of it by slapping my shoulder lightly. Don't be scared, Molly. We can pass this exam together. I promise. To be continued.